You got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. What's going on? Time for another Ask Camp Kennan question. <clears throat> Today's question comes from Paul Samet, and he has, oh, a couple of rhino iguanas, a male and a female, and he wants to know what's the best way for him to introduce them. Now, he also specified that they were young animals, uh, and that means a lot, uh, because if they're, he said they were only a few months old, between six and eight months old, uh, male, female, um, and he wants to know what the best way is to introduce them. And so I thought, why not go in and meet my rhino iguanas <clears throat> in here? Here they are, guys. There's Petro and Petra, male and female rhinoceros iguanas. And this is my male. There he is. He's a good boy. And there's my gal. Last year she laid eggs. We're hoping she'll get some eggs again. It is the breeding season for them now. Uh, the laying season, actually. Uh, but she does not look like she's gravid, but she's giving a good yawn there. Look at that. I love when rhino iguanas yawn. So anyhow, <clears throat> what I would suggest with yours, since they're so young, you can start to, uh, what I would do is like keep their cages close together and get them used to each other. Uh, at this point, being that they're so young, they probably won't have too much territoriality going on right now. Um, as they get older like this, these guys are five years old, so they're definitely egg-laying, mature, uh, young adults. Um, so if you were to basically just throw these two together, had they never been together before, you would have a lot of problems. Um, so what I like to do is I like to keep the animals close together uh, where they can see each other. And this way they start to see each other more often, uh, have a supervised meet up see how she's holding her tail up the ground that's a visual cue that's showing me she's upset so she left uh if a cyclora is holding their tail off the ground it usually means they're not happy with something so you gotta learn their cues like for example when i pet him he's not making any kind of movement but if i go in and i pet guapo and lola you'll notice that they uh they'll raise up they'll stand up on all fours but he keeps the tail on the ground that's a, a nice, happy posture. So if they're unhappy, they keep that tail up off the ground. And you can see this is a male. You see the, uh, you can see the bulges here for the hemipenes. All right. <clears throat> but um, going back to the question at hand, let's go on over to Petra. Check her out right now. She's getting a little fresh water. I got the water going for them. So basically, um, you want to introduce them slowly with supervision. In case things got a little violent, you'd be there to break it up. Uh, every once in a while, things don't go as planned and there is some aggression uh, with cyclers. Look at her drinking. Look at this. How cool is that? Uh, I just let this overflow and they really seem to love it. And the tortoises will also drink from it as well. So it's nice clean water that comes out a few times a day. So these guys here um, have always been together. Uh, they were introduced into a neutral enclosure. If you guys have been watching some of my other episodes, you would have seen me and build that new monkey tail skink enclosure. And what I did was it's a brand new enclosure for both animals. So neither of them actually has a claim to the territory. That's another great way to introduce the animals together because they are now in a neutral place where not, not any of them are the kind of the boss of that area. So that's really important to do. Um, but if you can't do that, go ahead and put them together. And look at this girl go. Go ahead and put them together with some supervision. And that would be really, really key is watching them, watching their behavior, making sure that they aren't hurting each other. Uh, little nips are gonna be normal when they're breeding but you don't want them drawing blood and you don't want them removing any little digits off of their fingers or toes. So that's important as well. Let's head on over and go see what Guapo and Lola are doing because they've been cohabitating for a long time. And this is really cool that this question was asked by Paul because I'm gonna be introducing a new lizard to Slinky here again soon. Uh, so that's gonna be a pretty big deal as Slinky is gonna get another girlfriend. It is breeding season for the good old 
the good old water monitors and we got a female coming really soon so i'm excited about that and i'm having a hard time getting that here yeah, it's back on okay so we're gonna go check these guys out lola and guapo because even though they've been together for a long time uh if you're a fan of the channel been watching the channel you'll notice that sometimes they do uh still get into skirmishes um, and I have to keep an eye on that because if these skirmishes get too violent, it's usually the female, Lola, who's beating up on Guapo. And I just don't like that too much. And I'm going to show you what can happen, um, which is actually kind of normal. Those of us that have Cyclora, um, don't freak out too bad. But sometimes you forget how powerful these animals' jaws are and just what they can do if the fight gets a little too aggressive. And it looks like everyone is inside today. Let's see. Let's see how they're doing. Oh, look at this. There they are, getting along just fine. There's Guapo and Lola. Guapo's on the uh, right, and Lola's on the left, and they're just enjoying a nice, clean house. You see, I've got it nice and clean for them in here. It's insulated, it's heated. Uh, Lola's looking quite fat right now, so hopefully she's got some eggs in there. It's way late for the uh, Cuban iguanas, so I'm not so sure. But uh, fantastic animals. They do really, really well. And, uh, you know, you just got to keep an eye on it. Now, what I was going to point out, guys, is I adjust this phone. Look at Guapo's toes. Some of them have been nubbed off. And that's from just normal, um, you know, nipping when she's protecting something. So this happened a long time ago, guys. Uh, but it, it is something that will happen from time to time. So you got to pay attention. All right, also these enclosures, as you've seen in the past, are quite large, um, but they have to be, I would even like to go bigger, and that's what we're gonna do at the new sanctuary is create larger enclosures for these animals. Yes, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for us to actually um, find eggs, but still pretty, uh, it's more about the animals rather than finding the eggs. Uh, what we can do also is create a situation where there's only one spot that eggs can be laid. And you do that by kind of barricading the ground with wire um, so that there's only a little bit of soil on top. But then there's one area that's got an elevated area where there's a lot of soil. So she'll want to dig there. And this way you're able to focus. And that's what I tried to do right here. I elevated it. And, you know, when she does dig, she digs in this area. Or you can also put up... Uh, like a, a nest box in the enclosure because you only dig down about six inches and you hit the wire and when these Cyclora iguanas are laying their eggs they dig a rather large and extensive tunnel and then they go ahead and lay their eggs at the base or at the end of that tunnel so there you have a question answered I hope it helped you out there Paul thanks so much for your uh, contribution for Patreon and submitting that. Oh, and another thing that's kind of cool, a little update if we will, before I sign off, let's have a look at the monkey tails. They've been in here for about a week now. Here's their enclosure. It's looking really good. We've got, there's Solomon right there hanging out, but where, oh, where is Diablo? Or is it Diabla? She's not in there. She's not down there. Not up here. She's right there. That's her way in there. So these guys are cohabitating nicely. Uh, there's been no aggressiveness and I'm super happy about that. So that's how you introduce lizards. Remember, take it slow, neutral environment. Uh, since yours are young, you may be able to get away with introducing them uh, and letting them grow up together, all right? But I'll tell you what, pay attention to the channel because in the weeks to come, I'm gonna have a video where good old Slinky, our lovely lizard buddy, is gonna get himself a new pal. So I'll show you that whole introduction, uh, show you what I do with it, and uh, well, hopefully we'll have Slinky babies. All right, everyone, thanks so much for your questions and support on Patreon. Uh, if you like the videos, hit like and subscribe to the channel. Go on over to the Camp Kennan Army, like that as well. Head on over to patreon.com slash Camp Kennan and you'll be able to uh, help us out to create more videos. And if you want a Camp Kennan shirt like the one I'm wearing, go to campkennan.com slash store to order yours today. All right, everyone, talk to you soon. Here's Slinky, it's raining. I gotta go get wood in the warehouse. <laughs>